Hey, uh, viewer of the channel, we recently just did a live stream, and YouTube is cucked, so I cannot host any of my VODs on YouTube. They are going to be on Odyssey now. It'll be linked below. You can see one and two, and there will be more to come. Uh, so if you missed the stream, you get to see the stream. It, it's, on, uh, it's on Odyssey, and if you want to pay for... Um, Patreon to support the channel. We're just going to do that separately. I can't host 16 gigabyte videos on Patreon, unfortunately. Um, but we figured it out with Odyssey. Uncensored. It'll all be there. Links below. Stop bitching at me. Bam. Um, also, all the other links are fixed. And uh, let's talk about games. Let's talk about gaming. Let's talk about the thing we all do. What all got us here. What all got us are computers. Games suck. Not one fucking company is left to satisfy our insatiable wants, okay? And at one point, it was easy. You just make a game like fucking Minecraft, and it does the work for you. It's, it, it's good shit, right? Uh, but now, the games aren't done. Like, none of them. None of them are done. And everybody's just like, oh, uh, uh. They're ju look, fucking just go jumping at the leaping at the opportunity to give these fucking devs and investors that hate them. They don't care if you would die. They would shoot you. A Nintendo, like a, a Nintendo dev developer would eat a fucking human baby if you sat soy sauce and chopsticks next to it. They're oh, so good, so good. They don't give a fuck about you if you fucking die. Any of that shit. They want to kill you for your money. They would kill you for $59.99. That's how much a game costs. That's how much they need. But it is all Western devs. Not one is fucking left. Not fucking one is fucking left that's any good. Think about it. Uh, we had our last bastion of potential good games being Rockstar. Well, they just fucking slapped a, slapped a fucking reskin on San Andreas, made it shittier at somehow, and then still tried to charge you for money. I, 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 it, it completely blows my fucking mind that these companies are allowed to exist without a full-blown coup of gamers trampling on there with fucking guns and demanding a goddamn fucking good game. Nobody's doing it. Nobody's doing it. Let's, let's browse the reason why, the reasons why, many reasons why games are fuck, are shitty now, right? Um, and let's start off with the glaring problem in the Western dev community. Employing women. It, it, it's, I'm, well, it's not, it's not employing women. A lot of women are fucking talented. They are, they are coomers. They're hiring people with no experience, women based on their looks. They're, they're just trying to flirt with him with these fucking office cubicle desk to desk pickup parties like at Blizzard, right? You know, people getting caught with handfuls of dildos and, and all that shit, women killing themselves, right? This is clearly they're hiring based on looks and to try to hook up with minimal talent or technical understanding and know-how about the, you know, let, let's just, let, 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 if you don't believe me, let's see some pictures. Uh, uh, let's look at the OSRS team. Great game. Great game for many years. O oldest fucking MMO, GOAT MMO, still around. Uh, why? Oh, uh, okay. Um, let's look at the, the Larian Studios Baldur's Gate 3 dev team. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, right, right. Let's look at Stalker. Let's look at uh, GSC Game World. Oh yeah, look, look at, oh yeah, yeah. And then let's look at, let's look at Blizzard. What? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so many women employed. Why do you even need this many fucking people working on your games, let alone this many women? It's impossible not to sexually harass a woman at this company. All you gotta do is be talking to somebody, throw your arm backwards in a, in a, a descriptive visual motion and you've just touched six pairs of tits. Like, what are they fucking thinking? right? All of them are going to be jumping at sexual f op I'm not defending Bobby Kotick. That guy fucking eats people, right? But that's a shitload of people to be working with. No shit people's heads are spinning and nothing's getting done, right? What, what is that? And I already touched on Nintendo devs for a, a bit. They're subhuman that will eat, eat fucking humans. They're terrible, pe terrible people, right? So let's talk about Nintendo. $50 a year for emulators that don't work. They copy strike streamers that stream their game. They take down smash events with 
with their own Super Smash Brothers online not working at all. Um, they scammed children with the same game 45 times, maybe 55 times, probably more. Uh, they're uh, just, they take down emulator sites, about a bunch of ancient 110 year old fucking coffer ridden Japanese old men running that company with their geriatric cocks. Nee, I think they like this. I need you to stop buying Ambios, you goddamn coomer. You don't need that. Buy a fucking 3D printer, you mental retard. All right? Fuck, man. It, it blows my mind. Oh, I want to do Ambio. You're a fucking idiot. Fuck yourself. Well, let's talk about Bethesda. Bethesda. Best gaming company on earth, debatably, right? Sold to the shittiest gaming company on earth. Oh, so now all the games will be shitty. They're going to re-release Skyrim more 36 times. I bet you Skyrim will be released 30 fucking six times. It's on more devices than Minecraft. Wait, I think it is on more devices than Minecraft. I don't know, but do you need it? The, of course you need it. You will buy it. That's not a debate. Bethesda, they need their money, okay? Let's talk about, let's talk about uh, what, what the game dev's goals are. It's not for you to buy the game. It's to get any of these terrible fucking streamers to stream it for three hours. Because then you're going to see them having fun with it for one hour. It's not done. And then you'll be like, oh, I'm $60 to get $60 out of your pocket into the fucking hands of some investor who's going to use that $60 to buy one gram of Coke. They're going to blow up their own asshole. And that's just lunch for them, by the way. They, they'll spend 30 times that doing anything. They just need it in the eye of the public, right? Let's think about it. Let's think about it. If you don't know what happens in the process of a game development, you can go through with old Bathroom Dwayne. Ready? The game idea gets pitched. And it's good at this point. Good idea. Investors say, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, good. And then investors jump in. This is where the bad shit happens. These people don't have any fucking idea of how a game works is released what a texture is what a play of replayability is they're fucking 70 okay they don't give a shit about anything but money and riding a new sea do with an 18 year old girl all right they don't give a fuck about anything so that's two the investors jump in at two the game is in development by minimal overwork staff right four they make trailers for the game way too fucking early like, way too early. Five, the game is done by fucking release date. The investors are able to sue if they knowingly, if the devs knowingly mess up what the investors invested in, they are able to sue the dev team. So that's why if the investors want a game to be released, they fucking have to release it. Like, if the dev, the, the investors take priority over the people developing the game, literally. So uh, if a game dies day one, one week after release, uh, great, as long as they can get a fucking streamer to play it, they make their money back, right? You just spent $60, and the dev team gets a ruined resume, and the investors get blowjobs, fuck you money, ride a slip and slide off a building with a parachute while jerking off onto the fucking public and traffic below them, okay? Um, or or b bypass all that, uh, they can just straight up scam you. Look at Atlas Online. Look at Atlas Online. How can you? How is that even legal? Is what I always say when I watch that fucking trailer. It's insane. There's no laws against scamming children uh, over a video game, right? There's no laws against it. So that is the best way to do it if you're scamming children, and that's the that's what the industry is specialized in. Not entertainment anymore. They're not trying to entertain you. What the fuck, right? Uh, so if the game, the gaming industry, it's like. It's like dead. It's like Betty White dead if she resurrected, got fucking painted red, and was made to run with bulls in Madrid, Spain, okay? Uh, it, it, it's hopeless in the West. There is hope on the horizon for Eastern devs. For whatever reason, the, the plague of retardation hasn't spread quite across over the seas, so we're still getting good, good, good-ass games now. Baldur's Gate 3. Old school RuneScape, Stalker. Bro, have you ever played Stalker Anomaly? Anybody? No, you haven't because you're too busy getting Anthem shoved down your throat and Halo fucking shoved down your throat and fucking New World shoved down your throat that you don't even realize Stalker Anomaly is fucking free and it's as good as New Vegas. Debatably better, 
right? I, I, I hold New Vegas in this regard and then Stalker Anomaly in this regard. And they're, I've been playing games my whole fucking life. That's how good they are, right? And uh, you, your whole, you just, you, go play Stalker. Go play Stalker. Shout out to the Eastern devs. They're really, that's who you should trust. If you're going to pre-order any fucking games, make sure it's not a Western dev. That's the end of my PSA. Watch the stream. Uh, Eastern devs, go. Play Stalker Anomaly. Goodbye.